on over. I'm Chris, a recovering Yankee living in the South. If having company for coffee, dinner, or even a last minute popover sends you into a fit of panic, I can show you a few tips for being a great host or hostess anytime, day or night. So tune in, take notes, and learn to be fearless in saying, come on over. Have you been a guest in your own guest bathroom? Probably not especially if you have children or other family members who use the guest bath. So now's the time to get in there and see if you have everything a guest might need. I have a trick for that. You collect your items that you think you might need in the bathroom and then you put them in one place. Now, why would we put them in one place? Well, you don't wanna hear this. Trying to find that one thing they might need. So let's put them all in something like this, which is just a basket I got from a gift something and kept it thinking might have a need for that. I left the crazy hay stuff in here and I'm just gonna show you how to assemble something like this that's easily accessible. Let's just start with the most important stuff, hair, because hair is more important than anything. So we're gonna have a shampoo, some hairspray, some mousse. We're gonna have all those things that you wish you had packed, but you didn't. So you know those little bottles of shower thingamabobs that you get when you go to a hotel and you collect them and you put them in your suitcase and you forget you have them? Now's the chance to let them shine. Let's put all the hair items together. Then let's not forget the sponge for the shower soap. Some people are washcloth people, other people are not. I always like to have one of these available in the basket in case they're a non-washcloth person. Well, what about when they get out of the shower? They might need some lotion. So let's provide some variety here in lotions, give them a little choice, make them feel special. Well, what if they need to remove their makeup? Makeup removers, and these are special because I think they're calming. So this would be for nighttime, calming nighttime. Wonderful to have if you wear makeup. Let's go back to maybe getting ready for bed and you need a toothbrush. Let's say that you packed, totally forgot a toothbrush. I've done this myself. What you don't want to do in your pajamas is run to the store and get a toothbrush. And let's face it, it doesn't really work. So toothbrush, maybe you forgot toothpaste. Try to get something that's as unspecific brand as possible. Almost everybody likes some sort of cinnamon or a mint flavor, go for that. Maybe some floss, maybe you had steak for dinner, can't get it out, floss, not like that. These are individual floss sirs, dental flossers. That's a fun thing to have, put it in the bag. Maybe you've been talking too much, you need a throat thingy, put it in the basket. All right, have you ever been somewhere and you wear contacts and you forgot either the solution or the case? Critical for contact wearers because I've actually put my contacts in a glass with contact solution and someone else came in and dumped it in the sink, lost the contact. Let's get ahead of that by having some contact solution and a case. Other little things, little cotton swabs. You never know, somebody may need to get in somewhere. We've got some, a little tiny deodorant because that's fun to have just anyway. And you might've forgotten that. A razor, it's not any specific kind of razor. It could be for all kinds of shaving. So let's put that in there. Then we have a shower cap. If you have hair like mine, you're not washing it every day because that would be <laughs> alpaca. So you want the shower cap for the shower. If you don't have it, you're dealing with a towel and that's not really good in the shower. Then we have a little vanity kit. Fun little things in here. We're not gonna look because that would be vain. We're gonna put that in there. And then nail files. I'm sure you've been somewhere before, you've snagged your nail, you don't have a nail file. Again, no, 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 it's right here in the basket. Lastly, we have a giant comb. I just thought this was fun because it's a giant comb, but everybody could use 
a comb that you can wash easily with shampoo. You can put it in the dishwasher even and give it a good clean. And look at that. Just like that, we have a lovely guest basket that hopefully meets your guest's need before they even know they need it. Let's talk about the countertop. You want this to be as clean and clear as possible because your guests are bringing their own supplies and they probably like to spread them out a little bit. I like to give a little bit of color, interest, and helpful things for the top of the counter. So we have a little plant. It's lovely, it's an ivy, it doesn't require much, and I just like to put it right here in the middle, generally not a spot that's used for toiletries. Then we have a little jewelry holder, because if you're gonna wash your hands at a bathroom sink and you're wearing a ring and you wanna take that off, you wanna put it down in a jewelry holder and not on the edge because it might get knocked into the sink and go down the drain, and then that's a bigger issue. So I just put it right over here, somewhere where it's easily accessible. Now, a clock. I know what you're thinking, I have a watch, I have a cell phone, I don't need a clock, but sometimes when you're in the bathroom, you don't have those items with you and you just like to take a little peek over and see what time it is. Little tiny clock over here in the corner. Wonderful place, out of the way, doesn't bother anybody, little pop of time. Soap. Try to get something as fragrance-free as possible and as clear as possible so that it's not in the way and bothering people, really. You wanna have it somewhere close to one of the sinks, whatever sink you'd like. I'm just gonna put it over here because that's usually where I put it. I also like to do a little thing of water in the bathroom because sometimes you don't want the water from the sink. Maybe you take nighttime medicine and you'd like to have some nice fresh water for that. So I just put it somewhere inconspicuous. You could put it here, you could put it over here, just anywhere where they could see it and use it if they need to. So now if you wanna take your guest bath completely over the top, as I clearly do, there are other items you could add. One of the best things you can put in your bathroom for your guests is a hook on the door. You could either mount the hook on the door or do what I did and just hang it over the door. And then on that hook, you could hang a guest robe. I've actually had guests thank me for this, so I know it works. Then you can have other items that probably lean more towards your girl guests. You could have things for nails. Like let's say they wanna change their nail polish or they need to add nail polish. You could have a little bottle of polish, some cotton balls, and some polish remover. Trust me, they will thank you for this. Also for the ladies, you could do a little guest bag of Burt's Bees. I love this stuff. They supply these at Target, other places, and it has everything someone could ever want right here. Then you can supply other specialty items like here is uh, these breath mint tabs. Just have a little package of them. They can take them with them. We have tooth towels. There are uh, specialty items they could put in their bag or their purse. A little packet of tissues, also useful. They might have forgotten a makeup sponge. You could add that. Some hair ties. You never know when a child, a woman, a man with a ponytail might need a hair tie. Always good to have. And then I actually have some sewing kits or repair kits in here. Needles. I've got thread. I've got seam rippers. Anything I can think ahead to help a guest fix an issue before they even have to ask me for it. Okay, so putting this here and while I'm sitting here, let's have a little private discussion about what happens in this zone right here. Well, let's say you're a guest and you are here doing your thing and you go to reach for the toilet paper and it's not there and this is what happens. You've been there. Frantic, frantic looking for toilet paper. The best thing to do is to have a stash of it nearby. Any vessel will do. Have no idea why I have this vessel, but you know what? Three rolls of toilet paper fit in here. You could put it by the floor, you could put them elsewhere close by, and then your guest can simply add it. And if you have a kitty, that could happen. Talking to myself. <laughs> Just fine, do it all the time. I could put a picture of Keanu right here. <gasps> that would be awesome. Then he might catch some drool running. <laughs> Don't my face. 
have a... No, I have a speech problem! Come on over. Now go make someone feel special today.